Picture this, a single piece of technology so powerful it can see a missile the size of a soda can flying just above the waves from over 200 miles away in the middle of a storm, in total darkness, and it can see 300 other threats at the same exact time. This isn't science fiction, this is real, and it's sitting on the deck of Israeli warships right now. Welcome to a breakdown of one of the most terrifyingly effective military systems on the planet. A system that doesn't just give Israel's navy an edge, it gives them the whole knife. Today, we're diving deep into the MF Star Radar. This is the story of how a small nation looked at the endless, vulnerable sea and decided to build a digital wall around itself. But to understand why this is such a big deal, you have to understand the problem. For a ship, the ocean is the most dangerous place in the world. It's flat, it's empty, and it offers nowhere to hide. An enemy can be anywhere. The oldest rule of naval combat is simple. See the other guy first. For a hundred years, that meant a spinning radar dish on top of the mast. It would go around, click by click, painting a picture. But in the gaps between those clicks, in the blind moments when the radar was looking the other way, entire attacks could be launched. Ships could die. Israel faced this problem on steroids. They have a tiny coastline, but it's some of the most contested, crowded, and dangerous water in the world. They have enemies on nearly every shore. They couldn't afford blind moments, not one. So they didn't try to make the spinning dish spin faster. They asked a wilder question. What if the radar never had to spin at all? The answer is the MF Star. The name is a mouthful. Multi-Function Surveillance Track and Acquisition Radar. But forget the name. Think of it like this. It's the ultimate security system. It's the all-seeing eye. It's the high-tech guardian that never, ever clocks out. Let's break down how it works and why it's a nightmare for anyone thinking of attacking an Israeli ship. First, look at it. You won't see a spinning golf ball. You'll see four flat rectangular panels stuck high up on the ship's mast, facing north, south, east, and west. They don't move an inch. This is the first clue that this is something different. Inside each of those panels are thousands of tiny individual radar modules. Think of them like a beehive of super smart radio cells, each one able to send and receive a signal. This is called an AESA radar, Active Electronically Scanned Array. Here's the magic trick. Because it's all electronic, a powerful computer can control every single one of those thousands of modules. It can make them all work together to shoot a radar beam in any direction, instantly. It can split that beam into a dozen different beams, each doing a different job. One beam can be scanning the horizon for ships. Another can be locked on to a high-flying jet. A third can be guiding a missile that's already in the air. And it does all of this simultaneously, with zero delay. There is no looking the other way. Every single degree around the ship is watched all the time, every second of the day. That 360-degree coverage isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution. Now let's talk about what it sees, because this is where it gets scary good. Old radars were great at seeing big fat bombers up in the sky, but modern threats aren't like that. Modern threats are sneaky. A cruise missile is designed to fly so low that it hides in the radar clutter of the ocean waves. To an old system, it just looks like another big wave. A small enemy drone might have a radar signature smaller than a seagull. It's invisible. The MF Star was built to hunt ghosts. Its computer brain is a master of pattern recognition. It looks at the chaotic mess of the ocean's surface, the waves, the spray, the weather, and it can instantly pick out the one tiny, fast-moving object that doesn't belong. It's like having a superpower that lets you see the exact raindrop that's falling sideways. This ability to spot low, slow, and small targets isn't just a feature, it's a game-ender for sneak attacks. It takes the enemy's best trick and makes it useless. But seeing the threat is only step one. Any radar can go beep beep, there's something out there. That's not good enough when that something is a missile 60 seconds from impact. 
This is the second genius part. The MF star doesn't just see, it understands. The moment it detects a new contact, its artificial intelligence kicks in. It analyzes the target at a speed no human crew ever could. How fast is it going? Is it speeding up? What's its flight path? Is it zigzagging? Is it coming straight for us? Based on millions of lines of code and threat profiles, the system makes a judgment call. It classifies the target. Is it a commercial airliner, a friendly fighter jet, or is it a hostile weapon? If it decides the target is a threat, it doesn't just flash a red light on a console. It takes immediate, automatic action. It seamlessly hands off the target's complete data packet, its exact location, speed, course, and identity directly to the ship's weapon control computers. The time between detection and a missile being ready to fire shrinks from minutes to seconds. The human crew is in the loop, but the system has already done 95% of the work. It's like having a world-class co-pilot that never gets tired and never gets scared. This brings us to the payoff, the kill chain. The MF Star's best friend is Israel's Barak-8 missile system. Think of them as the ultimate partnership. The MF Star is the brilliant spotter, and the Barak-8 is the flawless sniper. When the radar identifies an incoming threat, it can launch a Barak-8 interceptor missile. But the job isn't done. The radar doesn't say good luck out there and forget about it. It continues to track both the enemy missile and the friendly Barak-8 flying to meet it. It sends constant microsecond updates to the Barak, guiding it right into the path of the threat for a guaranteed hit, often over 100 miles away from the ship. The enemy missile might have been launched to sink a ship, but it gets vaporized before its own pilot even knows it's been targeted. Okay, so one ship is now a floating fortress, but Israel's navy isn't huge. They can't be everywhere at once. The ocean is massive. So the engineers asked another brilliant question. What if one ship's eyes could become every ship's eyes? This is the fourth and maybe most mind-blowing capability, networking. Every Israeli warship with an MF star is connected into a single, secure digital network. They are all talking to each other, constantly sharing their radar pictures in real time. They also talk to aircraft, ground stations, and satellites. This creates what's called a cooperative engagement capability. Here's what that means in a real fight. Let's say an Israeli SAR-6 Corvette is on patrol off the coast of Haifa. Its powerful MF Star radar detects a swarm of enemy drones coming from the north, still 150 miles away. But there's another Israeli ship, a different Corvette south of Tel Aviv. That second ship's own radar can't see those drones yet, they're over the horizon. Instantly, automatically, the first ship's radar data is beamed to the second ship. Now the crew of the second ship sees the drone swarm on their screens too, as clear as day, even though they're physically hundreds of miles apart. They can prepare their missiles. They can aim them at a point in the empty sky where the drones will be when they fly closer. The moment those drones pop over the horizon, the second ship can fire immediately, with perfect aim, zero hesitation. It's an ambush waiting to happen. This turns a handful of ships from individual fighters into a single, distributed organism with one superbrain and many powerful fists. An enemy isn't fighting one ship. They're fighting the combined awareness and firepower of the entire fleet. It's a force multiplier of unbelievable scale. Now, any system this good is going to have a target on its back. In today's wars, you don't always try to destroy a radar with a bomb. You try to blind it with electronics. This is electronic warfare. An enemy ship or plane might fire up a powerful jammer, flooding the radio frequencies with screaming static, noise, hoping to drown out the radar signals. Or they might send clever fake signals to create phantom targets, ghost fleets in the sky to confuse and distract. The MF Star is built for this knife fight too. It has what engineers call electronic counter countermeasures. In plain English, it's a supremely clever listener. If an enemy tries to jam it on one frequency, the radar can hop to a different frequency in a microsecond, like changing the channel faster than the enemy can follow. Its advanced filters can tell the difference between the messy, stupid noise of a jammer and the clean, precise echo bouncing off a real missile. It ignores the lies and locks on to the truth. 
Trying to blind this system is like trying to blind a bat with a flashlight. It just switches to a different sense. The proof of its quality isn't just in Israeli service. The world's militaries are the toughest critics, and they vote with their wallets. The MF Star has become a major export success. The best example is India. India, with its huge coastline and complex security needs, went shopping for the best naval radar in the world. They chose the MF Star. They've installed custom versions on their most advanced warships, like the colossal Vishakhapatnam-class destroyers. There, it links up with the Barak-8 missile, a system India and Israel developed together, creating a shield over the Indian Ocean. When a country like India bets its national security on your technology, you know you've built something special. So what does all this mean in the big picture? For Israel, the MF Star is more than just a tool. It's a symbol of a national survival strategy. Israel is a small country, surrounded by potential threats. They can't match their neighbors ship for ship or missile for missile, so they don't try to. Their strategy is to be smarter, faster, and see farther. They invest in technology that creates an overwhelming qualitative advantage. The MF Star is that philosophy in a box. It's a system that says, you might have more, but we will always see you first, understand you better, and react faster than you can possibly imagine. It also shows us the brutal truth of 21st century warfare. The winner isn't the side with the most metal, it's the side with the best information and the fastest ability to turn that information into action. It's about data dominance. The MF Star takes the fog of war, the chaos, the uncertainty, the fear of the unseen, and burns it away with a flood of perfect real-time light. It gives commanders not just a picture, but a prophecy. It tells them what's going to happen 10 seconds from now and gives them the tools to change the outcome. In the end, when you look at a modern Israeli warship, those four flat panels on the mast are the most important thing on board, more than the guns, more than the missiles, because those panels are the ship's conscience, its awareness, its connection to every other friendly force in the theater. They are the reason that in a vast and empty ocean, an Israeli sailor can stand watch with a confidence that was impossible just a generation ago. They are guarded by an eye that never blinks, a mind that thinks at the speed of light, and a shield that stretches to the horizon and beyond. That is the power of the MF Star. It's not just watching the sea, it's mastering it.